What's up, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of 8UP Gaming. However, I am not Gangsta Shrek. I am OP Skills of Victory Gaming Network. So, anyway, I'm going to be playing some Warhammer. And... Wait, Warhammer Space Wolf. I'm an idiot. I almost forgot the name of the freaking game I'm playing. Anyway, I'm a huge fan of the Warhammer games. I've always been a huge fan of the Warhammer games. Um, so I thought I would try hand at the Android versions of them, so let's get right into it. Chaos Space Marine, you have trespassed on Kanak, dog of Rus. Now die for desecrating world era's territory. Okay. Uh, come then, traitor. Many have tried to slay me. I shall add you to the tally. Alright, movement. You need to move closer to the enemy to make shots. Select a highlighted card to move your character. You can use almost any card in the game to move. Okay, so this is kind of like turn ba uh, card based like combat and stuff, so. We'll move. Uh, right about there. And. Wait. Confirm your action by tapping a selected card a second time. Um, okay, there we go. I was typing the wrong one. Select direction, it will affect the direction of your attack. So, obviously, we're gonna face forward. Action points. This is the action points counter. Usually, you, usually you will start each turn with two action points. You spend one action point each time you part. So, uh, yeah, we'll use this. And attack. Tap an enemy to select the target for your attack. Confirm, All right, there we go. Uh, let's see, we got a, a flamethrower, blood claw swords, like the chainsaw sword, everybody's seen them before. Um, and then we just got the standard um, assault pistol, so I'm gonna use the flamer. And right there. Burn you motherfuckers! <laughs> Alright. Uh. Damn you! Damn you all to hell! Victory! Complete mission. Okay, let's continue. Equip. Oh, nice. Put that on the bolter. Connecting to server. Press play to open the mode selection screen. Campaign, engrave your name in the history of the Space Wolves chapter. You should play the campaign. This is the campaign screen. You can now start the first mission of the first chapter. Select it to see all the pertinent details. Brothers at Arms. Each mission has primary and optional objectives, completion of which will earn you uh, a reward. Press next to advance the preparation. Okay. Preparation phase. Let's see. Uh, you may take up to three space wolves on each mission, a squad commander with the selected type of armor, and two battle brothers. On your first mission, you can take only your squad commander. Press next to the... Alright. I need to cleanse the area of traitors and locate surviving pack brothers. Okay, let's go. Let's try some more advanced tactics. Select this card, and I'll tap the move button. Correct. Okay. There is the enemy is there, so we should choose this direction. Okay. No, we want to look back when the enemy is in front of us. Now let's end the turn to receive advantages later on. Man, you really suck. You missed me both times. Okay. All your cards have a number on the top right in the top right corner. These are effort points. Every time you play a card, you receive effort points. Okay. Uh, the more effort points you have at the end of the of your turn, the next year, the later your next turn will occur. 
Uh, now let's try to get some tactical advantage from it. You can see that now your character has zero effort points. Okay. If we manage to end this turn with less effort points than our enemies, we will get our next turn before them. Uh, choose this card and effort points. Wait, yeah, okay. And... You're right in front of him, motherfucker! How you miss? Alright, whatever. Uh, now our character has some effort points, but our enemies have more. Take a look. So if we finish our turn now, we'll basically get an extra turn. Alright. See, it's your turn again. Try to use this to your advantage, and your battles will become much easier. Now go and defeat your enemies. Okay. Since he's, like, right in front of my face, I'm gonna chainsaw this motherfucker. You miss. I don't like you. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's how you do it. Alright. And looks like we got a loot crate or some shit. Ooh, what is this guy? This guy looks like this guy doesn't look too friendly. This is one of the crates from our ship's chapter forge. You can oh wait. I forgot my voice. This is one of the crates from our ship's chapter forge. You can find a master crafted weapon there. Okay. Now that I did the voice, I can actually provide commentary commentary for this gameplay properly. And uh, you can almost you can use okay, we just gotta end, I guess. And uh, another chaos marine. Use almost any card to move your character. Choose a card and tap. Okay, so what? Can I use? Yeah, I can. So we'll go here, and there are more of them. It's an ambush. I think I just used the wrong voice for him. This is the part where you guys say I'm fired. You're never watching me again. Okay, so ooh, ooh, this looks nice. But it does shit for damage, okay. Oh my god! How many of you fuckers are there? What is this? Four of them, I think? Yeah, I think there's four of these guys, fuckers. Freaking Chaos Marines. Okay, you wanna fuck with me? You really wanna fuck with me? Motherfucker, I will chainsaw you. Oh, nice. We got somebody on our team. Valgard, you may command this forsaken mission, but I demand you leave some of these abominations for me to kill. I will do that, sir. Kind sir. Okay, let's use this shotgun. That's how you do this shit. Can't move. Okay. Uh, supplies draws two cards. I don't need that. Move. Um. Okay. Let's do this shit. Let's give Gunnar some defense. Tap the storm show card. And action. Use. You can see that he now has two defense points. A character can have a maximum of three defense points. We have one more action point left. Let's equip Gunnar with a weapon. Okay, so this is an equipped card. Instead of being used instantly as used cards, these cards need to be equipped before you can use them. So, we need to equip. Select an equipment slot. Okay, blah 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 blah. We know this man! You have equipped the character with a weapon. Equip cards on this guy. Blah 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 blah. Alright. Yeah, these motherfuckers just don't, just don't know when to quit. 
Come on, man. You want to kill me. You got to try harder than that. Let's see. I'm gonna burn this motherfucker. Oh, I can't. Really? Alright. Whatever. Whatevs. We'll just move, I guess. You can use almost anything. Blah, 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 blah. I know this man. Okay, move. Thank you. Thank you, Kansa. Now we'll use a flamethrower. You should burn! One more thing to mention before you crush the enemy. Chain effects. Some cards have a chain icon on them. These cards have a bonus which can be triggered by certain actions. For example, this card gives, you attack, gives your attack an additional hit chance if you attack a target with a ranged weapon. Let's attack an enemy with your equipped storm bolt. Okay. And we will attack you, motherfuckers. Uh, let's see. Aim shot and uh, aim shot. Wait, when? Okay, there we go. Never mind. Oh, okay. Now I get it. So. This is a chain effect. You've attacked an enemy with your range level. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Has automatically played and now adds a bonus to uh, hit detection. What am I doing here? You've attacked an enemy with your range level, so the chain effect card has it automatically played and now adds a bonus. Okay. Chain effect cards are played at no, eff no effort when their condition is met. Having some of these cards in your deck can help you a lot in your battles. Why is this guy not the leader? He's obviously, he's clearly the badass of the group. Uh, use. Wait, I'm not sure what this does. So, oh, never mind, I don't need to reload. Alright, well, just, uh, that was new. Alright, here we go. Dude, this guy is a straight savage. Why is he not the leader of the group? How'd you miss with a shotgun? Victory! We have victory! Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to Victory Gaming Network. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one.